be so you see. So in name na Mr. Beast, this man na the biggest YouTuber for inside this world. This man America, he come all the way from America. He born in Ta Kenya. He called build fifty two ways for Kenya people, different different communities where we say that they lack proper drinking water. This man provide drinking water for them. If they talk about ways, uh, just be like tap fifty two taps that I built for them. He say me they enjoy different different communities. This one are communities where we say they lack proper drinking water. Some of all these uh, people for the communities, they, they go river, they go fetch dirty water, they drink, and they give them different, different disease. But this man take his time. From money where we say they make from YouTube, oh, for different, different donations, like this man take do this thing. 52 ways like this man built for Kenya. He not only end for them, he even build bridge for them. So when they know they go stress themselves, they cross river, they this and that, to go to the other side, now he build bridge for them. He not even end for themselves. He even reach themselves, he even buy computers for different, different schools for them. Now what did this man do? The man of the Kenya man, oh, the man of the African man, oh, the man American. Nothing concerned with Africa matter. Nothing concerned with Kenya matter. They know a letter must uh, for any office for Kenya or for Africa. But this one, this man, they do one from his heart. Africa politicians, Africa politicians. I know that some of you are going to avoid this video. Share and give them more. Africa politicians, especially for Nigeria, we get different communities. Obviously, that they, they lack drinking water for Nigeria. But yet, many of our politicians now. Big big motor that they buy. <laughs> with the yacht, the president said, with the yacht, yacht, I've been a yacht, I've been a yacht, I've been a yacht. That they call up, they want to buy them. We are not going to do the basic things. When we say citizens want, we are not going to do them. We are not going to do them. See this man, now. Huh? God bless you, Mr. Beast. Black people change my name to Beast. Who they answer your name? Now they do things. Egbe ba, see big gate now. He name a gate. This one a Beast. Egbe ba. I don't change my name. Egbe ba, Beast. A hundred wells. We're gonna build in this video. Oh, water! You just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. One down, 99 more wells in Africa to go. You're going to love this video. Combined, these 100 wells are going to give around half a million people fresh water to drink. And after building some more wells on this side of Kenya, we flew south to the school system of Nairiri. And let's just say they were really happy to see us. How's it going? It's not expecting this. Thank you for the welcome. <laughs> I'm just trying to try to react. <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody. This village threw a welcome ceremony upon our arrival, and Nolan got really into it. Nolan's the most awkward person I've ever met, and that's a lot coming from me. And after being shown around the school... Here comes our guest. How's it going? Are you having a good day? <laughs> it's nice meeting you. One of the teachers showed me where the students currently get their water, which is from this river. That's extremely unsafe to drink. This is where your students used to get water from? Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, students complaining of diarrhea, infections like typhoid, because this is the water we've been using. So yeah. we try to treat, but you see, look at it, it, you know. But at the end of the day, life has to move on. You have to get some water anyway. This situation is obviously extremely sad. These children's lives are being limited and sometimes cut short from being forced to drink unsafe water. But at least for this village, we're going to put an end to it right now. I don't think this John's gonna fit. <laughs> big Let's see if we can find some water. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is raining! It's beautiful! After the water comes out of the ground, it's fed into enormous barrels like this one. And once they're built into the water towers, all of the neighboring villages will not only have clean drinking water, but a pressurized water source as well. Which, in short, means no more doing laundry and unsafe water. And pull! On a scale of one to Nolan's mom, how heavy is it? Nolan's mom times two! Oh god. Dude, I'll push you off of this. <laughs> Whoa. All right, here we go, under control. We built 20 more wells in Kenya, and after we were done, 